Jan, Mr. Dutta, and friends from industry. This has become a phenomenon, it's not only in private industry, even in public sector industry also it is seen. I visited uh, sales uh, mines in Japan, bordering Odisha, iron ore mines. And to my surprise in the middle is I found around 60% of the employees deployed there or on contract. Right from unskilled labor to the engineers and specialists. And no wonder the attraction is that contract level is cheap. And when I'm saying labor, we include engineers and specialists and professionals also there. But they are also happy, all sourced and engaged in the same manner. Recently, I had a case before me. There was a complaint on Vipro. I am not hesitating taking names. I took name of same, I am taking name of Wipro, I will take some other names. The MBAs and MCAs were deployed in the factory through service providers, and power supply companies. And then the entry level they are paid 9,500 rupees. And for the similar position, similar work profile, Wipro pays 40,000 plus. But for a table, depending on you know, whatever the rationale they have. And we found on the top of it, that the service providers or manpower supply companies who supply this manpower are not covered in the EPO plan. Where even the basic was shown less than 6500. Then we have gone into the details in scrutiny. And Vipro was also surprised because you know as a principal employer they never knew that that the service providers are not extending the benefits because they would have when they were engaging with service providers they would have the same whether they are they have a PO code number or not. They have a PO code number and they would have shown it to people and people would have been more than happy to engage thinking that they would be extending the PF benefits anyway. But the fact is otherwise. So when such glaring disparities visibly seen, visibly felt by both brackets of them. 
employees, contract employees, and the permanent employees. Naturally, there is a discontentment, a mistrust. Doing the same kind of work, same kind of a job, flashing the same companies. We have found that these people, those who are supplied and supplied by the manpower of the companies, were flashing the pro tax as their employees of the pro. At least we can understand if they are flashing the tax as the manpower of the companies and service providers. No. Doesn't happen in that. So, in such cases, what do you expect government to do? Is there, if there has been a tax?
Krishna Bhairavas. I tried to extend the social security benefits of corporate industry in Bhairavi and Mirzapur. I was transferred within 10 months. I was in Bombay. I attached 13 sugar factories which were reported. And sold three sugar factories uh, sugar to people, the forests which are running in crows, serving crows. So from there, 14 months of my career in Bombay was transferred. So on, so forth. You know me. Recently in Madhya Pradesh, one IAS officer who tries to stop the illegal mining was mowed down by a truck. Reduce the permanent employee salaries. 
that and increase uh, this contract of this values so that you know it's a balance. You can't continue to have this kind of a disparity of 600% uh, to 1000%. So reduce per hundred employee salaries and increase the number of employee salaries. Okay, 20%, 30% disparity is okay. 20%, 30% is okay, but not so much. 600% to 1000%. It's not done. Uh, In China, it's, it's, it's very interesting to study China. I am told, I read it, from the party there will be a coordinator drafted onto a particular factory. And the factory places all the requirements of professional, skilled and unskilled workers to this coordinator. And coordinator from the party and the factory management sit together, decide the salary, wages, everything. And decide the qualifications, experience for each post. Then, it is the job of the contract, I mean this coordinator, to put all the people, including professionals, at the disposal of the management. And any day, if management feels that a particular person is not coming forth, not up to the mark, not productive enough, not efficient enough, if it will come to the coordinator, that person is removed. No hassles, no labor codes, no labor codes, no hazards, nothing.
All of us know how our members work, how our machines work, how our electricians work. Despite government's best efforts, as Mr. Dajjal we were saying, skills development initiatives are in value. Skill development initiatives by government asking the participation of the private sector in that, trying to improve the efficiency and the productivity of the state, levels of the labor. Lots of initiatives are there, but still, then what is lacking? The commitment. Mr. Rajoji was talking about Japan. The love for the country. He said that employers are Japanese, employees are Japanese. Where is the person that can cheat each other? So beautiful. So beautiful, we have to catch it. No, let me listen out of that. Love for their country, that's what is there in China, that is what is there in Japan, that is what is there in Thailand, that is what is there in Malaysia, Singapore, Taipei. The kind of growth that Taipei today achieved, I was reading somewhere, Taipei on to go and see to believe the kind of country it is and the growth it has achieved. The analysts say that we will take 120 years to achieve the goal. Imagine. And despite the fact that we are number two in our human capital worth, when I am saying human capital worth, I am talking about the technical, the managerial and science skills. We are number two in the world. We are number two in the world. And as far as natural resources are concerned, we are number two in the world. Then why is it? Why is it? We are number three from below out of 270 countries in the world. We are 267 countries in our GDP. Why? What is filling us back? The love of a different Citizenship responsibility. Citizenship responsibility. Absolutely zero. We just don't want it. I live in Salt Lake. Salt Lake are all wealthy people, right? Now, responsible, supposed to be. They put all their garbage now in this rainy season and when you know that dengue is so much spreading fast, entire garbage just people their homes. Why is that garbage you have to see to? How many are from Salt Lake? Please raise hands here. Raise hands from Salt Lake. None of you. <laughs> so you must be witnessing that. Yeah? Piles, you know, piles, you know, piles. Truck loads of garbage to find on the roads, on the top of it. They just bring it, dump it on the roads before their homes. So, what do you want municipal corporation to do here? Tell me. You want a sanitation inspector to go and chalan that owner of the house? Does it happen? You want that kind of a role of a government in this? Tell me, please. You want a sanitary inspector to go and chalan the owner? But dumping the government outside his own home. What you want? What you want government to function, please tell me. I always say, you catch a running train, you get on a running bus. What do you want? You want a railway inspector to catch you when you are catching a running train under the railway act? And you want a motor vehicle inspector to catch you when you are getting down from the running bus under the motor vehicle act? Does it happen? What kind of a role of government you want? Think it. It doesn't happen like that. We have to be responsible. Citizenship responsibility. 
is realize this and once this is realized and love for the country you know, if that is in a developed and I am sure all these eights will go <laughs> we wish you all the best good luck God bless you Thank you so much, Dr. Rajan. You very rightly said three uh, things. Uh, disconnect, discontentment, and the disparity. That is what I think is the Mul Mantra of uh, the words of wisdom we heard from you that the disconnect between the main providers and ultimately the workers who engage them. That would be very transparent, and uh, of course, that is. Disparity levels between the lowest paid person and the highest paid person that should be bridged, and how that disconnect can be reduced. That is how you know we can be responsible for paid citizens, and this we can contribute effectively for our nation and nation's growth. And these are given examples of all of the countries where the love for the nation and you know, the nation comes first. That's how we need to interpret ourselves. This is I will now request uh, she, she is Jana, who is holding a very very important post.